All right, man, I don't know when the creepy shit is gonna... Okay, I stand corrected. There you go. Hey, little buddy, how's it going? <laughs> what up, peeps? KG Drifties in the building, and we back with another three scary horror game bangers. And the first game we're gonna be playing is called Cursed Baby. So check it. We back again with another three scary games banger, y'all. I was trying to figure out and trying to find other games to play for y'all. I'm like, you know what? Let's try and do a three scary games. Let's see what Ichio got. And I came across some three cool looking games that we're going to see that's going to be good. Hopefully, they're going to be fun. Hopefully, they're going to be exciting. And you already know, bruh, we'll have us a great time. So I know what you got to do. So back on the call, you already know that this video is going to be a banger as usual. But without further ado, let's run straight into the video. <clears throat> Let's go. All right, all right, all right, man. Here we are, y'all. Here we, damn, that was a crazy, okay. We here, I'm not gonna lie. Can I change the, give me a second. Hold on, gotta change that mouse sensitivity. Okay, much better, much better. We can do it. All right, let's get it popping. Date, July 25th, 2024. Welcome to the team. Your first task is to repair the several things around the building. Head to the basement to collect your tools, then start on the first floor. Good luck, maintenance manager. Okay, for sure. So we have to go to the basement. Get tools from the basement. Okay. So we got us a nice little, a nice little indie, um, you know, retro style type of horror game. Grab the tools. Damn. Okay, cool. So I cannot change. Okay, I can. Repair generator in, in room four. Repair pipe in room one. Clean dust in room one. All right. Uh, So where's room? Okay, that's room four. Fix the generator. Bro, what the freak is this? Bro, what the hell is this? A big ass house. Hold on, bro. Where the hell are we at? Is that the generator right there? I think that is a generator right there. What's that? Read that. January 12th, 1985. We finally moved into our new home today. Lucas loved his new room, and I feel hopeful for the first time in a long time. It's been rough. It's been tough, but I believe things will get better here. This is uh, a very repair. Wrong tool. Needs a hammer. You need a hammer to repair the generator? It's crazy. Bad. Okay, we got one done. All right, come on. We off to room uh, room number one now. Uh, I don't know what this is about. All I know is it has something to do with a cursed baby. Excuse me. So hopefully this is... Uh, I, I, I don't know what to expect right now, y'all. So we're going to see if this is going to be a good one. Repair the pipe in room. Yeah, we got water jugs and stuff up in here. Okay. Got the carpet joint right there repaired. Yeah, back in that. But how's that repairing something if you're just cleaning something? That's not a repair, big dog. What are y'all talking about? Let me see that. February 5th, 1985. John has been acting strangely since we moved in. He keeps talking about bad energy in the apartment and wants to cleanse it. Lucas has been unusually fuzzy since we arrived. Evelyn. Okay. I guess I'm, I'm pretty sure it's that the baby, right? Repair the pipe in room one. Oh, it's another one. March 14th, 1985. John brought me, brought home some strange books today. He said they're for protecting us, but the rituals and symbols are unsettling. Lucas cries more than usual now, bruh. Don't tell me you just did, bro. Don't tell me they did a ritual on their baby, my guy. Come on, bruh. Really? There's a pipe. That's a weird area to put a freaking pipe. We good. Repair wall in room eight, repair and clean dirty room in seven. Dirt in room seven. I was about to say, the music just randomly stopped right now. All right, man, I don't know when the creepy shit is gonna... Okay, I stand corrected. There you go. Hey, little buddy, how's it going? <laughs> I knew it. I was, bro, I, I, bro, I spoke too soon, y'all. I was like, I don't know when the creepy stuff is gonna happen. And then, sure enough, the creepy stuff ended up happening. Uh, okay, so there's, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, go to room seven. Ow. Okay, we got a head. Okay. I ain't even finna do it, but mind of my bin and I'm mind of my bin. I ain't hey, none of my business. I'm here to do my due diligence and clean the place, bruh. Don't mind me. Mar May 3rd, 1985. I can't take it anymore. John is obsessed with rituals, believing Lucas is cursed. I feel completely powerless to protect my baby. Evelyn. Well, maybe call the authorities and tell them that your husband or whatever is doing, doing rituals on your baby. I mean, that, that, that makes more sense to do that, right? Our roommate, repair the wall. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Oh, no. 
oh no we we don't we don't do we don't do this Mm-mm. april 22nd 1985 i found john in lucas room last night chanting something over his crib lucas was terrified and screamed like never before i'm so scared for us evelyn for us evelyn wow i just messed that. i just really just messed that up didn't i oh god don't don't do that Bruh, I swear to you, if something come out of that wall, I'm a bad as freak. So that's what that tool is called. Interesting. Okay, we good, we good. Look around. <clears throat> repair the TV in room 9, repair the generator in room 11, and repair pipe in room 12. Oh, no. Okay, I will, I'll, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that area. No, I'm not going in there. You got me bit. I'm not going in that room. No way. No way. We're not doing that. No. Um. Okay, room 11. Okay, okay. This, this, I can do this. This goes with my flow a little bit better. You feel me? That other room? Not doing that. That's too dark. Uh -huh. June 28th, 1985. It happened. John Rituals went too far and now Lucas is gone. I can still hear my baby's cries echoing in the apartment. Okay, where, where the music at? Okay, there you go. Thank you. Don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. Repair the general, uh, repair the pipe in room 12. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nah, nah. This actually genuinely has me on edge. I don't know when to like. Every time when I turn around, man, I think something's gonna jump out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Every freaking time. Close that. Close that. Repair pipe in room 12. July 10th, 1985. Lucas barely plays with his toys anymore. The wooden train just sits there. It breaks my heart to see him like this. Right, that little nigga possessed. Y'all need to get rid of him, bruh. Real, I'm, I'm getting rid of my kid. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. No sir. You think I'm gonna keep a possessed baby in my vicinity? No sir. Gotta go. I'm calling the. Okay, that's that's just. A, I'm calling the priest. You feel me? I'm getting holy water, Bible. I'm getting it all, bro. Uh uh. Okay, room nine. All right, we gotta go. I'm scared to go in room nine. It's hella dark in there, bro. Look, look at that. I is the music stopped. Screwdriver. Okay, um, I'm out. Yo, I'm out. Boom. You're gonna miss them joints. But yeah, I'm out. Hey, bruh, don't do it. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. He just, he just, want, he just want to play, bruh. He just want a toy. You feel me? He he, he want you feel me? Want some baby food or something? Keep it good. It's all good. It's all good. You good? Come on, room sixteen. Oh crap! This is the last room. Oh my god, sixteen. Oh shit. No. Oh, get me out! Get me out, freak! Oh why? Please, please. Hey, man! Don't hurt me. Mm-mm. 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 I repent in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hell no, man. This, this, this game is crazy. What is that? What the fuck? Bro, what the freak is this, man? Oh hell no! Nah. Oh no, nah, man. Uh uh. This is what game is this, bruh? <laughs> oh. Okay. That that's weird. This reminds me of that Max Payne. This reminds me of Max Payne when you're like when you're walking down the blood hall and the baby is crying, bruh. This reminds me so much of this right now. The hell you mean? Okay. There it is. Okay. Got the flat. Got the flashlight. What's going on? Oh God. Read. August first, nineteen eighty-five. I tried to gather Lucas' toys and train the plane, the horse, but I couldn't collect them all in time. Maybe that's why he's still here, waiting for me, waiting to be set free. 
Put like the wooden toy train. Wooden toy. Okay, bet. That's locked. All right, cool. So I think we have to collect these things in order to free his soul, possibly. I think. I'm on edge, bruh. I am. I'm hella nervous. I'm kind of scared. Got the train, bro. We got the train. Oh, bro. I thought that was a kid, bro. Come on, man. Turn the music on, bro. I don't I don't like doing this without thank you. Please. Like, at least the music brings me a little bit more subtleness. I don't want to do this without. Oh, damn. Got the plane. Cool. What is that? What is that? What is that? Man, I'm so freaking scared. Got to find that last toy, y'all. We got to find that last toy. Nope, 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 nope. Just gave me cr oh that just gave me where is he 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 oh my god oh god oh my jesus that's oh god oh hell no nah, bruh that is hella creepy Nah, and that just gave me intense ass. That is hella creepy. That is creepy. That just gave me intense ass goosebumps, man. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. That just scared the shit out of me. Okay. <gasps> oh, bro, that music just put me on. That was hella scary, bro. Go. Oh. Bro, that is hella unset. No. That was pretty creepy. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Like, respect. Respectfully, that was actually very creepy. That just creeped me the shit out, bro. Okay, we're looking around for it. Got it. We gotta bounce. We gotta get out of here. Go, 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 go. I'm scared, bruh. Okay, okay, we're back. We're back. Oh, God. Leave the building. Hell yeah, we out. God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Bro, I don't like this right now, man. Ooh. I hear the rocking. I hear the rocking. I hear the rocking. We out. Yeah, and that's the baby. August 1st, 1985. Thank you. Thank you for what you've done. I couldn't collect all the Lucas toys in time, but you made, but you set things right. My baby can finally rest now. And so can I. Thank you. Goodbye and thank <laughs> Excuse me. Goodbye and thank you. Okay, no problem, ma'am. Now nah, I can get the freak out of here, right? I'm out. I'm gone. Oh, we out, bruh. Something is telling me that it's not set free yet. Something is telling me they're going to hit us up with one last scare. Yeah, it's not it, It's not that easy, bruh. I have a feeling it's not that damn easy. Now that's the basement. Nope. Go the other way. Yep, right there. Yep, yep. Come on, we out. See, no way, bro. Oh my god. I told y'all. I told y'all the end. I told you. I knew that was gonna hit us with one more freaking jump scare, bruh. Out of pocket, bruh. Okay, okay, I ain't gonna lie. That was dope. That was a good game. That was a go. That was actually a really dope game to start it off for, for our first game. I enjoyed that. That was actually pretty freaking dope, bro. I give this game, if I were to give it a review, I'll give it a, um, I'll give it an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 for sure. It was, that was a really great game to start us off. Okay, bro. All right. Hopefully the next game is going to be better, bro. Hopefully. But this one, really good one. Huh? All right, man. But we off to the next game, bro. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're on the second game. This one is called Seven Nights Keeper. I know nothing about this game as well. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. Hopefully it's going to be scary. Because when I saw the screenshots of this game, I'm like, yo, this actually looks pretty creepy. We're going to see what this game is talking about. Hopefully it can top the last one that we played. I'm excited. And we're going to get it popping, bruh. So let's get it going. All right. Foxy Studio presents. Okay. We here. Okay. Left mouse, left mouse button. There it is. Hello? Are you sure you really want to take this job? Yes, I'm sure. I need this more than anything right now. But you realize the risk, right? That place isn't 
normal. I know I know there have been a lot a lot of missing person cases from there. If you're aware of that, why would you still want to go through it? I don't have much of a choice. Living without a job feels unbearable at this point. Shh, feel that one. It'd be like that. You just got to choose what you can get, bro. I understand what's going through your mind, but I care about you. You know that I am doing this, right? My parents took their own lives five years ago. They hung themselves. Wow. I still see their faces in my dreams. It's pretty creepy. All right. Just be careful. Thanks. I appreciate it. Call ends. Uh, all right. I don't just see them in my dreams. I see them everywhere I go. Yeah, that's... Question mark? All right. Yeah, this, the, I can see this one is going to be something different. This is going to be a creepy experience. Okay, let's see what this game is talking about. Let's get it popping. Where are you? The hell? Okay, that's very, that's pretty unsettling, a little bit. So I'm assuming he's, oh God. What on earth are you doing here? Are you out of your mind? What are you thinking? What do you mean? I specifically told you not to come up, not to come upper floor at night. Don't you understand that? Okay, but enough, just leave. Now I have to put her to sleep because of you. Remind you, I think this is the same type of uh, character that was in that 1616 game that I played. You feel me when it was in the cult? I think this is the same character. What did I do? I just came here thinking that she needed something. And now she's making that sound. Didn't she need something? She doesn't need anything. She's just hungry. You should go to your, go to your room and sleep. What do you mean, bro? That don't sound like no hungry person, bro. Now that's locked. That what the freak are you hiding? That don't sound like no hungry person. It's like a person that's in pain or something like that, or a non-human. Game is weird, bro. Off the rip, I'm already. This game is already hella weird, but it's all good. Can we leave? We can't leave. Okay, so I guess we just have to go back to our our room and go to sleep. Maybe then, I guess. Day two. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I thought the game ended. I was gonna be like, bro, that's crazy. That's all we got with this punk ass game was two. Was just one day. It's crazy back up collect to-do list oh tab to-do list clean the trash in your swimming pool collect the mop from the basement clean the cobweb on ground floor collect the shopping list and then collect them clean the cobweb upper floor cobweb upper floor clean the trash next to the oh okay bet so we just gotta collect the trash no tools no nothing we already got it on us all right for sure uh so far is this water in here no it's not um, so far the game is very confusing. I can say that for a fact. I don't know what to expect. We just cleaning up the trash and stuff. We just doing, we're doing what the job is intended us to do. Stab it on the beat. All right, bam. So we got that out the way. Collect the mop from the basement. And we gotta find that mop. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is that. This from that one game that I played, where when you got kidnapped from the clown. I like how a lot of these indie games kind of reuse and rehash different areas and stuff. Right, where's that mop at? Right here. Bet. Clean the cobwebs on the ground floor. No lie, these some ruthless ass cobwebs. That's hella like hot. The fact that well, it does look like an abandoned house, so it does make sense. I was gonna say, bro, the fact that y'all allow this place to get like that is crazy. But like I said before, it is an abandoned house, so we really can't really, you know, there's really nothing you can really say about that. One thing I can tell you, bro, I will never sleep on this dirty ass mattress. You got me bent. I ain't gonna lie, nah. I, I rather, I rather sit. I rather stand up, sleep, or at least sit on a chair and just sleep like that with my head back. I'm not, I'm not, I'm definitely not sleeping in no bed like that. That is nasty. 
No cap, I'm not. Damn. All right, we got the ground floor. Now we got to go upstairs to get the other one. Two hours later. Foxy Studio. It's on the to-do list. Four chips, four Coke, Coke, and a water. Okay. Damn, what, hey, what's up with you, my guy? You good, big dog? That man drunk. That's a lot of beer. Yeah, that man knocked out. He drunk. One, two, three, four. For show. Now we gotta get the chip. We gotta get the sodas. Got that done. Ketchup and water. Okay, where the freak are we? Okay, where the hell will we find the ketchup at? All right, what up, big dog? I picked up four bags of chips, four cokes, four bottle, uh, bottles of ketchup, four bottles of water, and four cartons of milk. No, you interrupted me while I was enjoying the music. All right, should I just leave without paying then? No, no, wait. Just give me a minute. Okay. Come on, bro. You on my time, my guy. I gotta go, bro. All right, your total comes up to 1,000 rupees. Okay, here's the money. By the way, do you know why the policemen are here? Yeah, well... He comes around regularly, but not just for food. He usually asking questions. Questions? About what? Something about those missing person cases. The number seems to be going up every week. Wow, that's pretty serious. You should take care of yourself, too. Yeah, I know. For sure. We'll be smooth, big dog. I mean, it's very, like, depressing and sad. I mean, that's... Oh! Really, nigga? How about a ride, man? Uh, no thanks. You walk here, right? Yeah, it's no problem for me. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It's just, it's just a ride. All right, then, no worries. You should have just followed your first one hour later. Should have just followed your first mind, bruh. You see those black figures too? What are you talking about? What black figures? Don't worry. I understand what's happening here. So you can see them as well? No, I can't. Only those who spend the night here can see them. I guess I've been fortunate enough not to. Then how do you know about them? I'm running late. You can go inside the house. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe he has something to do with killing them or something. Take care and don't go to the upper floor. Yeah, it's, this is, it's hella weird, bro. It's a lot of weird, creepy shit going on. Why is the lights red? I don't like that. What was that? Check the generator in the basement. Okay, just looking around. All right, bet. Generator is right here. Freak! The fuse is missing. Probably there would be on the upper floor. But he told your ass not to go to the upper floor. If I was you, I would leave the damn house. I wouldn't even stay here no longer than I need to. No cap. Yep, and this is this is where we die. And this is where all the creepy shit is gonna happen. Find a fuse. Oh god, see. Just that just caught me, y'all. That just caught me. I'm good. I'm good though. I'm good. Oh, I'm nervous. Shit, that door's open. Gotcha, bitch. That was uh that, that was something. Um You're out of pocket for that jump scare, my friend. I wanna let you know that. The developer of this, you did a great job, but you are literally the most out of pocket human being on the planet for that one. I'm not even gonna lie. That jump scare literally just took me out the game. Um, my soul is just completely shot. Uh, but there y'all have it, man. That was um, Seven Floors or whatever that was called. Uh, the game was good. Uh, I think it was up there with the last one. I give it an eight as well. That jump scare was just completely out of pocket. <laughs> All right, bro. We off to the next game, bro. Let's go. All right, you guys. We're on the last and final game. This one is called Night Watch at the precinct 13. So check it. This is made, I think I played one of his games before. Uh, I think I played one of his games before. He uh, he do Fears the Fathom style type of horror games. So hopefully this is gonna be a good one. I'm looking forward to this. I bought this one on itch.io for like, a, like $2. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a long game to play. And I hope this is gonna be a good one, bruh. So let's jump into it. And let's see what this game has to offer. Let's go. Here we go, bruh. I always thought of myself as just an ordinary guy. 
cop doing his job. But that night was different. Sometimes life pulls us into a path we never expected. Dragging us into a dark places the mind can't comprehend. I had no idea I was about to step into a nightmare I couldn't escape. Or maybe I didn't want to. I am John, 27 years old. Okay. I see you taking, yep. I see my man taking a lot of the, uh, the Fierce to Fathom joints. I to say, I can't see shit. All right, man. Let's see what this has to offer. Here we go. Somebody was just blowing up my phone late night. I don't like that. Escape to show messages. Got you. Hi, John. This is Timothy Cole from the investigation department. I apologize for the inconvenience, but we have an urgent situation. Your colleague working the night shift, Sam, has fallen ill unexpe unexpectedly, and I won't be able to make it tonight. We need you to cover his shift instead. The station is quiet right now, but there are no there are some tasks that need immediate attention. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you encounter any issues. Thank you for your cooperation. So we got to go to our uh, we got to go to the precinct or something like that. Okay. Door, bam, we out. Hey, take a shower. All right, for sure. Or take a shower. All right, that's the garage. The door's right there. My man got him a little, little cool little house. I see you. I see you, big dog. Ah, okay. Wow, that looked like an exit. I thought that was an exit. Okay, cool. Take a shower. I didn't even know. I was like, bro, where's the shower? Where the freak the bathroom at, bro? I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. This man took the longest freaking shower known to man. Go to your car. That for show. Sure. Raining outside and stuff. Come on, we out. Damn, you in a nice ass neighborhood, my friend. You got a big ass house too. Okay, I see my guy. I think he a cop. Okay, I see you, my boy. He is a cop. Got the little, got the little rain going down. Okay. You must bring the keys. Oh my gosh, I thought I. My man didn't have the keys on him, so I gotta pick him up, bro. Damn, got the keys, all right, we out. We up out this G-Thang, y'all. Twelve thirty-one a.m. This is the place, nothing seems different here. Just another night on duty. Okay, it's empty, it's clean, nothing, nothing to worry about. I'm reading it. Review of detained records, conduct periodic, what? Conduct periodic tours around the building, CCTV monitoring, monitoring. Uh, cam, access denied, case files. I don't know what the freak are we looking at? Strange incident at the police station. Frequent strange incident at the police station. Between 1990 and 1992, several strange incidents were recorded inside the police station, including unexplained noises, Lights turning off without reason and objects moving in rooms without anyone touching them. That's actually, I go lie, that's actually hella creepy. Like you imagine something like that's happened, like something like that in a police station and this unexplained creepy shit happening, bro. That'd be wicked. The disappearance of a child of the child Lila Johnson. Lila Johnson, 10 years old, disappeared on November 15, 1985, in a forested area near her home. Lila was returning, was returning from school and did not reach home. Her school bag was found in the forest, but no trace of her was found. Disappearance of a police officer. Wow. Disappearance of a police officer, Mark Davis. Officer Mark Davis disappeared on October 3rd, 1998. 1993, my bad. While investigating the case of a strange incident at the police station, the last recorded communication from him was when he mentioned that he just he had discovered something big that needed to be reported. So right now we're we're in, we're in some type of murder mystery right now, bro. I'm 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 digging it. I'm digging it so far. It's a little creepy in the beginning, but only so much. Video. Video player. Cam. Dale, it's here. Inside the center. It won't leave it won't leave anyone alive. No, 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 please no. Damn, so what was it? Demonic fo So what the freak was it? A demonic force or something that got my man's bro? What happened to him? Gotta go downstairs. It's very, I ain't gonna lie, it's very eerie right now. I'm, I'm getting a little bit ear, like, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little, little weirded. Okay, we're off to the, the next, what the? Access denied. Life list of prisoners. Warning, the following contents have been classified as highly sensitive information. This file was deleted by direct order from the central administration. If you are reading this, you have already reached safety limits. 
In classified documents, notes were found indicating the use of old mirror as tool to perform rituals to summon mysterious entity. The mirror itself was located in the evidence room, but after internal investigations, it was removed from official records. No one knows who ordered it. During a late investigation, a distorted photograph of a former police chief with Dale was found. They appeared standing in the dark room next to the closed by next to a closed box. The faces in the photo who are eerily distorted, leading to some to believe they might have affected by the entity that was summoned. The remaining content is deemed damaged or missing. Note: those who have tried to delve into this case have not returned the same. There are no details about what was summoned, but it is clear that the force dealt with with is not of this world. It is best to leave this file unread. But if you chose to proceed, remember you are playing with fire. I'm loving, I'm really loving the eerie factor of it. Okay. hallucinating or something what's up with the music i'm i'm literally the most i'm confused as freak right now i don't know what the freak is going on my man just had an outer body or outy, outer body experience or something you know what i'm saying i have to get out of this place right now you feel me that, that that's what happens when 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 i not when i sleep john you know he has an, an outer body experience and then he comes back to his body when he wakes up okay we gotta go Okay, you can't you can't even escape. Okay, the elevator. Okay, that don't work. Okay. Oh! Bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The weird ass shit. What is going on right now, bro? What is going on? This music. Turn this shit off. Why do you keep having this music, my guy? Oh my God, bro. I'm, I'm tired of that damn music, bro. Hella bright and stuff to mess with my eyes. Confused as hell right now. This game is hella confusing me. I don't know what the freak is going on. Like, does it have to be that un November 15th, 1985? Like, does it have to be that unnecessarily loud, though, bro? For real. All that damn noise. The freak is going... Bro, what the... F what is going on right now? I like the music, though. The music is actually very chill. I ain't gonna lie to y'all about that one. Layla Johnson. Oh. Where am I? I lost my way. My family will worry about me. For some reason, I thought she always had an E on her name. Read. Layla. Lila Johnson, 10 years old. Have you seen this person? This game is so weird right now. I don't know what the freak is going on. It's just like. It was just nothing but like weird stuff happening out of the blue. It's so weird to where I'm very confused my damn self. Like, bruh, what the hell is going on? I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. I don't think my man knew what he was doing when he was making this game. This game is all over the place for real. I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm hella confused on what the freak is going on. We ended up, it, it ended up becoming some type of like horror mystery. And then, hello? Oh, hello? Is anyone inside? You look scared. Do you need help? Yes, yes. I need to get to the main road. I don't know how I got here. How did you get here? Bruh, didn't she just tell you she don't know how she got here, bruh? I was coming back from school and my mom was late. So I said to myself, I would go back home alone and I don't know where I am now. Come on up, I'll take you somewhere safe. Stranger danger, woman, stranger danger, kid. Stranger danger. St 
stranger freaking danger, man. Stranger danger. What the freak? Where are we? Where are we at, bro? What are we doing? Don't worry. We'll get we'll get you home soon. It's a good thing you found me out here. The woods aren't a safe at aren't a safe at night. Yeah, I was a bit scared. What, what are you doing out here at this time? I live nearby. I usually go for a drive at night to clear my mind. Your parents must be worried sick. Where's your house? It's a bit. It's a what? It's a bit off the beaten path. A quiet place, secluded. Bro, come on, bro. This man is about to kidnap this girl. This is not no place to be. That's my theory. Yep, that's my theory about. Her. We're here. Come on. I want to show you something. Where are we? This is my home. I want to show you something special. Come on, no way. Come on, bruh. You're not this. Your parents never taught you to not get into strangers cars. It's this place, it looks very old. I don't see anyone here. It's away from the hustle and bustle, a safe and quiet place. Just what you need right now. You told me you would take me to town. I will take you back in the morning. The town is very far from here and it's very late. I, I think I should go back now. My parents, they'll be worried. Don't worry, it won't take long. I just want to show you something. I know it seems scary right now, but everything will be okay, I promise. Are you going to take me back to town? My family will worry about me. Of course, first thing in the morning, but you better get some rest tonight. I don't want you, I don't want you getting lost in the woods in the dark. You can sleep here. I promise I'll take you back to your family in the morning. Are you sure? I don't want to bother you. No, dis no discomfort at all. Now I just need some rest. Yes, yes, maybe you're right. I'm letting y'all know now, bro. I don't trust this man. This is not smart. This is not smart. All right, here we are, y'all. We're here. I have to leave this place. I don't feel safe here. Maybe I can escape, but I have to be careful. I'm gonna try going out the window, maybe. On another exit. Jump scare. Ooh! Ooh! You thought you'd get off that easy? Uh, I I'm very sorry. I wasn't trying to run away. This is no place for late night adventures, little one. You better stay where you are. But it seems you're not listening. I think you need a lesson in obedience. Please, please, no. I gave you a chance. Now you have to learn that there are consequences. Damn. Toss the little ass down the stairs. That's scandalous. Bro, what is going on? For real, what the freak is going on in this game right now, bruh? I'm hella confused. I'm hella confused. You the end use a fierce to fathom music. I don't know what's happening. It's like I just had a dream. All I understand now is that I have to save Lila. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I need me a new chair, y'all. My whole back is killing me right now on this chair. Interesting. All right, come on. It's time to go in that house, then. Got to go save her. How the hell did you even know where the hell she was at, though? That's the question. Did you like that? that I mean, that's a question I, that needs to be answered. How did you? My man left his door unlocked. It's crazy. Hey, man, more easy work for my investigation, bro. Around. All right, nothing there. Close that. Man, forget closing it, bro. I'm a cop. I'm going to go save this kid, bro. Let's do it. Yeah, and it's very weird how he has like a little bed right there too. This man is a real creep. Doors lock. Break the door. Damn. Continue. There she is. Lila, I'm here to get you out. We're set. We're getting you out of here. Stay, please stay. Just stay calm. 
God, there's so many damn things. Who are you? How did you know I was here? Or where I was? There's no time to explain now. I'm here to save you. That's all you need to know. He's here. We must run. Wait. Wait, Lila, no. Oh. Come on, bro, you stupid ass kid. Lila, stop. I will go first, you stay inside. Please, I'm scared. Don't worry, just stay inside. The freak do we, do I fight old dude or what? Oh, God damn. What do you think you are doing? Where, where do you think you are going? You think things are that easy? Please, let's go. We won't tell anyone. Oh, of course you won't tell anyone. Because you're not, you're not getting out of here. Right, if you don't sock this, right, if you don't sock this man in the jaw. 3.49 a.m. Wow. This man doing some type of horror. Oh no, she just disappeared. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know what the freak is going on right now. I am freaking confused, bruh. I'm my brain is just like, so far, it was just nothing but loud ass noises in my ears, man. And it, it's really, really killing me deep down inside. It's really making me mad. Where the, where are we, bro? Bruh, am I, are we, what, the, what is this, the back rooms or something, my guy? What the freak is that? Well, what the hell is this, bruh? Bro, what the hell is going on? What the? Are we in the back rooms or something, bruh? Like, my guy, you need to tell me what the hell is going on, bruh. Bro, what the freak are you about to do? Fight? War of the monsters? Yo, this is so freak. Bro, this is so dumb. What the? F I don't know what's going on. I'm hella confused, bruh. All right, bruh, we're finally close to this. It's just two dumbass monsters. I, I, I genuinely don't get what the freak is going on. I don't get it. All right, the music just stopped. Okay, it's still going. Are you sure you want to delete this memory? Yes, absolutely. All right, it, it's it's not it's not deleting. Jump scare. One last jump scare. One last jump scare. One last jump scare. No. Bro, I think it's stuck, dog. Bruh. One last jump scare. One last freaking jump scare. It was all a dream. Oh my god. It was so scary. Listen, that, man. Nah. Fur coat, volume nope. one, November twentieth. Charlemagne. Nah. Um, that game was uh, it was very stupid. I think the beginning of the game was really great, like the suspense and just the mystery factor behind it. And then all of a sudden, all the weird, dumb shit just started happening. And just, bro, I, I don't know what the hell he was thinking when he made this. This is just, hey, Zess, bro. You must have been loaded or something when you played this game, bro. I, what y'all think, right? I, I, I don't know. That was, that made my, my brain kind of wander a little bit. Not, not gonna cap to y'all. But there y'all have it, bro. That was the three scary games. Honestly, this was a really good episode. Um, The first two games was really good. This game was eh, mediocre. I give it like a six out of 10. I think the very first one was really dope with the kid. I think that's the best game that we played out of this, out of the three games we played. 
but that was fun. I had a good time with it. Uh, very interesting horror game. I can say that for another less. Very interesting experience. Um, I guess we'll see what he does again, but that was that was weird. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give this video a big thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. On top of that, hit the notification bell so you guys get notified when we upload your boy too. Thank you guys so much for all love and support. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you all in the next one.